The yeah, reason why we are drawn to cleavage is because it looks like your butt cheeks. Huh? Are flat chested women made for ugly men? This is your daily catch up. Boom. Hi everybody, if you're enjoying the daily catch up so far, give us a like, share, subscribe, and comment below what else you want us to talk about. On to today's episode. Go, go, go. Welcome back, Aiken, for another episode. Hey! hey. He was saying he was, he was not coming back. But and there you are, you crawl back. Right, like, yeah. <laughs> right, right back to my old ways. Three days later, you're like, hey, John, let's all wear the same clothes and come back <laughs> <to dinner." laughs> Actually, they duped me. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Happy yeah. to be back. Happy to be back. What are we talking about today? So, I actually saw this article recently. Actually, I saw it on TikTok first. La. So, uh, Chris Sen, one of the inf- influencers in Singapore, she's under mm. one banana. She actually posted a video, which, if I'm not wrong, is a clothing haul. And then, she actually got a shit ton of hate comments. Oh yeah, be, like I saw calling that video her out actually. for being flat chested and then saying like, "Oh, Changi Airport spotter, oh, your your chest is a flooring for my v- vinyl." Whoa, yeah, it was so really it, did you it see was it? pretty extreme. Did you see it? I went to look up, um, knowing that honestly, because this was one of the topics, so I went to like go and look up, uh, right. Yeah, and then wow. she later on actually like called out the people who commented on her TikTok video on her Instagram. To the extent that like those people who were who who had their profiles like public, she actually screenshotted and then like put their faces like call them out for the things that they were saying to her. And mm. interestingly, a lot of these people later on went back to delete their comments. So mm. yeah, mm. So I think like that kind of leads us to this whole discussion of like body image. And she was talking about how uh, this actually really affected her la, And then like she had to go through the journey of kind of learning to also like love her body and all that. Interestingly, I mean, not to insult anybody or what, but uh, all, all of the commenters that she screenshotted were all males. Yeah, I would think so. Ex- yeah, in some <laughs> way. But Guys again, the, damn shit, no, like some of the comments were really damn jala, like yeah. really yeah. horrible. But and are you all surprised? Whoa. No, it's, it's <coughs> yeah, honestly, no, I, I don't. There, there are flat chested people. She's flat She's not pretending not to be flat chested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and mm. so it's. I, I looked at it and, like, oh shit. Mm. Like people are People are gonna make What they think is very funny jokes By calling it airport runway And yeah. I think on TikTok in particular People have this whole There's this whole culture of like Who can make the most Funny or like Snipe comments right mm. So Wow that Yeah mm. I think that, that People just went but for But honestly it. right But it's not even funny You know yeah. <laughs> Like it's not even funny exactly. It's airport yeah. Airport and secondary school people play it, yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't surprised that it came up But I was surprised at how many Comments there were Cause it really felt like Overflowing of like right. these jokes in secondary school, right? I didn't understand when guys call like laugh at. I mean, because it's pre puberty, so obviously like everyone bootless yet, right? Then they're like, oh, airport. Then when you say airport, right? I think you're the Changi the Changi <laughs> airport, uh, the Watchtower. <laughs> so you thought they yeah. got. Yeah. So I was thinking, no, I was thinking like, <laughs> okay, wow. Well, I mean, it's rather tall because there's nipple on it, right? On yeah. top as well, golden nipple on it. So if you keep saying your breasts like Changi airport, I'm like. No way. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> so yeah, what's the context of her video? Like she was showing her haul, right? She yeah, was so showing she, her haul. So honestly, she, clothes that she bought, which yeah. is like a top. So her argument is kind of that like, we need to clamp down on this and, and people shouldn't be allowed to say these things. And you also need to speak up for yourself because nobody else will, right? But I'm, I'm somewhat in the camp of also that if you cannot handle the nature of the environment that you're in or the platform that you're in, then don't be there. Because hate comments are going to come either way. There are going to be people like that. Mm. But you have the choice to put yourself out there or not. Okay, so it's like, this is like, uh, if somebody fart in the forest, right, and nobody smells it, is this still a fart? What? You took the whole analogy well, and I don't know whether that is the... <laughs> right, Dude, that was such an eloquent analogy when the tree falls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? And no one's yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> because like, the offensive comment on its own already is, that there was no need to say it. Uh. Yeah. Correct. But as you watched it, were you surprised? That's the question. Oh, right? were you surprised? Were you surprised that there were people that just think they're very funny and just want to point out for the four billionth time? Surprise is no lah. I guess. Right? I guess. I guess. But it's I d- it's an unpopular comment. Like for example, I don't know when like right now when when we are a bit more left wing in this course, right? And people talk about how everyone like like for example, girls should watch how they dress mm. depending on where they go so that they don't get molested. And girls are very rightfully claiming that, no, how about guys just don't know less? Yeah. 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 But there is a lot of wisdom to that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, as a parent, I would tell my child also, don't wear this to there because it's wisdom. 
Mm, yeah, but in in the form of left wing discourse, you you cannot even spread this kind of wisdom anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's not about saying, hey, like if you can't take it, don't put yourself out there. But maybe it's more about educating people that they these are the dangers of like putting yourself out there in that sense, lah. Like that this is a possibility. This might happen to you. Yeah, because I feel to cope with it. Yeah, because I feel like there's a mm. lack of awareness of that. You know, you know what Jit used to do. That there's, I mean, she get this a lot, right? Um, but they always have like people that say, "Oh, I would love to put my in your mouth," that kind of stuff, right? Or like you little sl- kind of shit, which she gets a lot of it. For her, it doesn't affect her, which is where I think the line is. It's weird. Like for example, you can make fun of a guy. Hey, your hand them big, yeah. Thinking that it's a gonna be a compliment, <laughs> right? But maybe that guy has been like people laugh at him for many years already, and you don't know. Then that is offensive. And as that person simply describing your body part, because girls would also say, "Hey, you have a really long neck." As a comment mm-hmm. on TikTok, but we once again don't know on that on the, the other end whether it's funny to that dude or not. Yeah, mm. yeah maybe he mm. well, people call him giraffe his whole, his whole life. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to what Jade did, right? <laughs> Jade went to click the person's profile, then realized it was like some secondary school or primary school kid. Uh. <laughs> then after that, that person's profile was public, or or Jade found some ghost account or some shit like that to follow a private account, right? Found the person's mother, <gasps> father. Then after that, Jade said, "This is your <laughs> mom. This is your dad." Um. This is the screenshot that I've taken of the message you sent me. And then that boy just apologized. And then, <laughs> then Jay's like, call me Tete. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay Tete. <laughs> I was like, wow. Well done, f- I'm not going to do it again, yeah? Mm. yeah. But it's also a public execution for him. La. But she DM'd him. Oh, uh, so, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Wow. so he didn't share it. Because yeah, yeah. they would be cyberbullying on, okay, the, okay. on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Mm. Well, that's a way to teach somebody a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so, so for you, have you dealt with hate comments. I mean, being on the internet for so long, right? Yeah. Like, I'm sure you've dealt with... Like, yeah, but I think, okay, I, I need to acknowledge that as a as a male, maybe we don't have uh, so much... Um, body comments. Yeah, comments like, how your body mm. looks. Yeah, and like, for example... I bet Ben can get it. Maybe, maybe. You know what I mean? We love yeah. to bring him up. <laughs> Yeah. He very good looking. When he coming he on the show? Hi. Not saying you're not good looking. You know? yeah, no, no, yeah, but no. But banking is you, like you are a very attractive male. You know, <laughs> but, but it's like charisma, yeah. humor, yeah. pleasant looking, yeah. above average. But like, so we just leave them to. But his like, banking shines more than he. Like I follow yeah. banking cause what? Yeah. Damn handsome. Know nothing about him. Right, <laughs> like even when I'm in front of Ben, right, I'm looking at Ben, right, I'm like, how is this yeah. guy so handsome? I, yeah, I look I'm at his fiance Naomi, I'm like, yeah, how are they? How did you get this lucky? Well, anyway, Naomi is pretty hot too. You know what I'm saying? Come on, is that a weird thing to say? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, so uh, trying to do something. Uh, what were uh, we what saying about? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, well, um, <laughs> yeah, him dig his holes. <laughs> yes, yes. Maybe not so much on like my appearance, or sometimes on, on people on Food King will say like, and I balloon all the time on the show for four years, right? So I'll lose weight, I put on weight. So there will be people who will be like, "Hey, you very fat now," or like whatever. But I, I am a bit desensitized to it lah because mm. I feel like. Huh, we have, uh, like the subject matter is actually the food la, and you know whatever so mm. I try to be a bit objective about it can't say it doesn't affect me completely yeah, yeah so it's what's probably ex- it's when you get there then when yeah. you get back it's probably because of those comments as well that you right, right, decide right, to go right, for right, that right, run right. tomorrow yeah 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 and then the and, ad- and sorry the best part is that I think they are they think that they are showing you concern yeah it's like Chinese yeah. New Year right your auntie <laughs> will check always tell you you put on weight yeah. Yeah, so like, oh, they are trying to find a conversation, <laughs> to, uh, yeah. a common topic to, to My raise My mother up. no need to wait for Chinese New Year. <laughs> <laughs> like every Tuesday we go. <laughs> she lets you know uh, that you put on weight, is it? Like she yeah. will let no, you No, you know what's the problem? Because I'm someone who struggles with small talk, right? And when you really get in those family situations, you're like, oh my God, I'm running out of topic, I'm running out of topic. Hey, you gain weight, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you kind of look at like the what's in front of you. You see on yourself, like, huh? Yeah, hey, I, I gain weight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pro tip. Yes. No, so fun fact is, did you know that um, a majority of women uh, grew up right with their parents and their mum specifically body shaming them. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I would think so. Yeah. But once again, is that wisdom though or is that trauma? Because it's both, you know. Oof. No, but what if it's things that you can't help? Like, say for example, in this particular case, like your boobs. No, or I like guess your if you can't help, you can't like help. Like oh right? my god, you know, I wanted the complete opposite, right? Okay, I'm not sure whether it's related to my sexuality or not, right? But then I did not want big boobs. So then, like when I was younger, right, I really tried my best to do the opposite. Like, I would read that like, for example, eating chicken, specifically like chicken breast, give you bigger boobs. Then I would really try to avoid. <laughs> but I right. love chicken so much right. that I, it was really difficult. So then I look for other methods, right? Then they one. say that. <laughs> yard bird, guys. What a anyway. dilemma. <laughs> so then it's like, do I want to love myself or love yeah, chicken? Yeah. So then after that, 
There was another theory where like if you sleep, if you sleep on your stomach, right? Then because gravity, yeah. then your boobs grow. Then so maybe a man can take this but advice. But wouldn't so. it be flat? Yeah, like flatter because. Of, okay, let's not get into the specific gravity. I, I was young, I was young. Yeah. Then after I really tried to stay on my back. Humans right, are the only mammals to have permanent breasts. So like, the next closest to us, which is like apes and whatever, right, they have flat chest. Right? It's only when they are like, they will only engorge when they are about to mate or when they are lactating or whatever. Right. So then, hmm. yeah, why do human beings have breasts? Like permanent breasts, right? Right. So then the, stu- the study, right, is that we became we became like upright when we started standing upright and we started wearing clothes you know, it's thing, we we hide our buttocks which is the main like one of the ways that you to 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 to, to attract uh, right, 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 right. we hide Probably. the butt and then apparently the cleat and all this also right it's like you can animals can like open it up or show it in some way and then when they show it it means that they're ready to mate right. so we don't have these things so then boobage right and cleavage to becomes over. the yeah, it becomes the visual sign Special of attraction. It, it makes sense because of natural selection. So if more females with big boobs are reproducing, then their offsprings are likely to have big boobs. And so then it became like the, the yeah, sign of attraction. That one, maybe. maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, no, but, but, but the yeah, reason why we are drawn to cleavage is because it looks like your butt cheeks. Huh? Really? It's like ass crack. Yeah. Is that a Freudian theory? Yeah, I thought it's our relationship <laughs> with our mothers. Wait, what? What? Huh? No, because okay, okay, okay. So right, so oh, this right. This was an episode about the comments. Uh, n- nothing goes <laughs> on. Yeah. So right, there is a school of thought. Oh, I mean, I, I think it's scientific. I don't know, but I remember reading somewhere that like when when a mother uh f- breastfeeds their like child, right, that act of the child sucking on that <laughs> nipple uh releases okay, an you enzyme. You talk about your mother like that. An enzyme, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Please don't watch this episode. So like, I don't know what the enzyme called. It's like oxy. Mm, Tocin. Tocin. Yeah, mm. that. Mm. And so Psych major. That creates the bond between mother and child. Mm. Like a mother has that bond to the child because of that enzyme, right? Mm. So when a guy sucks on a nipple of like her his partner, right, that same enzyme also releases and it creates a right. bond between uh, man and woman. Oh right. my god, I have yeah. a breastfeeding story also. I mean I don't have a child, but <laughs> so That's even I, weirder. I saw on TikTok, right, that there was this uh lady after she gave birth, right? Then there was a period of time like suddenly she cannot like produce milk anymore. Like, then after that, like they found like a lump, which is a clot. Oh, and shit. then the solution, right, is that her husband has to suck it out for her. This is very common. Mm. And then I totally didn't know. So then after that, the husband, like at first he he like do one. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not sure why, maybe his preferences or what. <laughs> yeah, so then eventually he did they they did it and then he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the conclusion of the story. Okay, cool story. <laughs> <laughs> cool story. So yeah, the, there are two a theories a la, right that uh, has been presented. One is the The the, the big big breast thing. Uh, and then and then the One is we're attracted to it because it looks like a butt and one is the mother theory. The Freudian right. that sounds a bit Freudian. Of our connection the with our mother. Uh, one one sounds breast. infinitely more legitimate than the other though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one you're referring to. Drop a comment. <laughs> okay, there's one more. There's one more. There is, there is a study of how attractive men are more likely to pair up with women who have bigger breasts. And then, um, because of that, right, to cater to the less attractive men, that's why we have a spectrum of breast sizes. To cater to men? Yeah. Because then the <sighs> less attractive men will pair up with the smaller breasts. Is he for telling my, my love life in the <laughs> When you say there's another theory, this is your theory. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Link with Google. And. Oh, I see, I see, so how I see. many people you ask for this? No, yeah, Google, Google. <laughs> no, wasn't there another study in the in the paper about the cetaceousness, like how full you are? What's that? So hmm. so like apparently they did a study also, right? Um they did like I think I can't remember whether a thousand or hundred men, but oh. half of them uh had eaten food already and then another was hungry. So like they did around lunch and they hadn't eaten food yet, right? And then to rate like uh women of attractiveness, uh sorry, women of different breast size, how attractive they were, men who were hungrier preferred uh women with larger breasts. Men that were full pref- like preferred women this with really medium. This really supports your theory. This. Interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yeah. She's gonna sign another study. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the boob expert. No. Here. So the concept of permanent breast, right? Which is like how why why human females have like oh right right, like, and large breasts after puberty, and then it stays for the almost the entire remainder of their lives, right? Is because human beings um their reproductive cycle is a lot longer. The process takes a lot longer. Mm. So in order to remain attractive to your partner, so that you can continue to reproduce, right. we have permanent breasts. Yeah. 
Wait, who so, has impermanent so breasts? No, other, 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 other mammals. Because oh. you were saying that, that, human. that humans have uh, permanent yeah. breasts, whereas apes don't, for example. This was not in the brief. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just need anyway, to disclaim. We have a guess this is <laughs> <laughs> I just need to disclaim that, uh, yeah, this went off a tangent. <laughs> so we bring this back to body image. Yes. I think we should. <laughs> Do we have any questions? No, so for example, like I think you've mentioned also like like uh, when you were in Fuking and the ballooning. Mm. Like, sorry to bring use that <laughs> no, word. Yeah. Ballooning, yeah. yes. Like, was body image something that affected like your mental health, which is something that we spoke about in the previous episode also? Oh, I think I think maybe because I grew up a very, very obese kid. Mm. Uh. So, yeah, yeah. I was like, really? I mean, <laughs> you, it's not... Uh, people can still see some residue. La. So, no la. I think... No, I la. think no, 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 so I, I think I've struggled with like that for a long time. But then when I lost weight, uh, when I was in like my teens and then slowly, like, you know, whatever, then, yeah, I learned to, learned to build a resilience for it but I also am still very conscious so for example uh, during Food King right like people would tell me like uh, you look very tired on camera because I, you know whatever so I would and then we use like these like insane lights all the time right so I would have to like learn how to go and do my own makeup for example because I don't want to look so tired Right. I would be conscious of the, 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 the clothes that I wear how I present myself and all of that lah. but I really do feel like as a, as a guy perhaps it's more I mean, we get away with wearing Uniqlo just all the time, right? But I think for for a girl, like it's well, I almost did, lucky. <laughs> it's it's a lot more pressure, and there's a lot more scrutiny. Like mm. people will be more quick to like comment that kind of comment on on you know her 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 thing la, rather than like a, a dude. Speaking of gender, I think it's quite interesting when you we take body image and we talk about like say cosmetic work that we do on our bodies, right? Yeah. Like guys can get away with going for hair transplant, and no one really says shit. Mm-hmm. But when women want to Go for like Botox or like plastic mm. surgery or do their nose, right? Mm. They get like a lot of shit. Do mm. they still though, you think? I, I feel like there's still, okay, it's getting a little bit more acceptable, mm. but I feel there's still that, that line of right. cosmetic work, right? When it's like, hey, not bad, why? You look so much better now too. Whoa, why do you do that? Yeah. I think no, it's and it's very hard, it's very hard to give that instant feedback. Do you want to tell them that you look so much better now, Alan? I think it's an unfair Is there a compliment? <laughs> I think it's an unfair comparison because one right you're trying to fix a problem the other you are enhance you are enhancing it's yeah. personal preference so one has a op- choice like girls can get a hair transplant without getting shit no yeah. but like but like fixing a problem is also subjective in that sense like because like for example guys are not necessarily expected to put out put put on makeup right no, but, but we are expected to like, like do our hair man. no no that's what, that's what yeah. I'm saying so like yeah. in society like we might expect to put makeup on their face whereas guys are expected to like say do their hair. Mm. We're not expected to do our makeup. Like in order to be presentable, it's like hey, comb your hair lah. But for girls, it's like hey, put our makeup. But then even That's why then, it's like for girls, right? They also get a lot of shit if they put on like too much makeup. Then they say like, oh, it's like it's like cheating the guy. Yeah. And they always there's that joke of like, oh, first day I need to take the girl swimming <laughs> so they can see what she look like without makeup. Yeah. So <laughs> like, it, it feels like an ex- to an extent like women tend to get it. Mm. Harder mm. than than <gasps> like, uh, Can I ask? So uh, who who like uh, who is it? The male or the female? <laughs> who went like yeah. dead bought for guys are like in. Mm. You know because like yeah, is it really in though? Are you lying to us? No, but it, they yeah, saved a lot, me a lot of people. Here. No, because it suddenly like like hey, dead bought is cool, is nice. We don't yeah. want a chiseled guy with six pack abs anymore. Was that determined by men or women? I think I, it was celebrity. I think it was male celebrities who went shirtless. I felt like there was a wave, right, where we started to realize that other oh, media is projecting a very unhealthy image of what human beings should look like. Right. And mm. then that whole dead bought thing was part of the face. Because when I actually talked to to real human beings, our uh, women, right, mm. then they were they will also say that yeah, we don't want the yeah the, the six yeah. pack the, 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 right? the, the three hundred body, you know. Mm. And then you go ask them why. Yeah. So when I ask them I, why, I, I, I said, do ask them. Oh yeah, yeah you too, go me first. Too. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I ask them, how come you don't prefer somebody with a chisel or six pack? And they, and they say because usually those type of guys they say ah uh, uh, are very self obsessed. <laughs> then they won't have the qualities to take care of or, or to be present. Oh, in that's the not what I heard. Oh, what what do you hear? What I hear is a bit different. Very stressful day, a guy like that, because that means I need to keep working, I need to die. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. How, and they are the same people that will ogle at chisel man photos. You know what uh. I mean? Like, I still think it's hot, but I don't want to date this because there's pressure on me. That's what I hear. That's not what I heard. That's not what I heard. Uh-huh. I heard it's an inferiority complex. They're trying to make up for a lack of something else. I also heard something else. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go. Hey, you can just go, go. Cause nicer to hug. Oh, yeah. mm. I feel like this are like, like, like post campaign reports, you know? Those ah, are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like post campaign reports, you need to like pet something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fluffer. Uh, I heard that. 
I heard that so that they can spend more time focusing on, on loving me. On career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, they don't spend money on gym, so they got money to like spend exactly. on the club, right? <laughs> On the note of like maintaining attractiveness, right? I actually saw this other podcast like on, on TikTok that asked quite interesting questions. So this guy actually said that as well, we're just stealing content now. Wife, <laughs> as his wife like uh ages and maybe especially after childbirth, then women tend to gain weight and all that, yeah. right? And then if you feel like your wife becomes less attractive to you and then you ask her to go and exercise to maintain that attractiveness, right? Is that wrong? I think you've got to ask it very <laughs> gracefully. Wow. Yeah, maybe we should ask the man man wow. got here. I think I think I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But I imagine like in marriage, right? I hope that I would s- keep some sort of um, standard and not let myself go completely. Yeah. Uh. However, however, I have friends who I know, like I mean, just life gets in the way, having kids and all yeah, of that, yeah. la, So it's 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 tough. But they don't feel like their partner <laughs> lost their attractiveness, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're putting me in a spot. <laughs> <laughs> what you think you're gonna come here and have a casual chat? What the f- <laughs> no, so the trick, right, is that you don't tell your wife, hey, trick. go work out, eh? you go, hey, come, let's go for a run, okay, hey, come, let's go cycling. Right. You know, like, you create an activity for <laughs> both of you to do. Work, eh? Hey, how dare you? Oh, no, 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 you've been to, actively... To be very honest, right. I, I told Pat right from the start, before, like, while we were still, <laughs> well, both our bodies were a lot more decent, uh, uh. I told her from the start, we, we need to maintain. Mm. Yeah, you enjoy conversation, you can have conversations with her like you can with no one else. Mm. But... The, the physical attractiveness or perception of it will, will drop. Don't kid yourself, right? And that can lead to stuff. So would you tell her straight up or do you all establish at the start? I, okay, I, I we can. had this conversation very, very early on. So to me, it's like a, hey, let's do it, eh? we are fat, eh? uh. like, But I can because I've kind of earned the right because that's the contractual agreement at the start of the relationship. Yeah. Uh. So I have a yeah. friend uh, a, a friend who is married so and she she also said to me that before the they got married, they also established they say, Hey, I'm gonna call you out when you put on too much weight, uh, I'm gonna say you are. Uh. Mm. Mm. So I think at the start the, the, the other partner knows what he was in for also. Yeah, and if, if honestly, if you wait five years to make your first comment, void it already. Void it already. Which then which then forms another level of complaint. I gain one kilo only my husband complain really. But okay lah, which battle you want to win? Wow. Right. Well, he always bring these two uh, <laughs> ends of the like I see here I'm very stressed. Eh. <laughs> like, like not Wis- wisdom or trauma. <laughs> then I just ask myself like, well oh, I don't know, I really don't know, I don't know. Then go back to therapy after yeah, this. Go back to therapy, <laughs> life, therapy. Life really not straightforward. <laughs> there's no it's there's true, really no easy way. True. Like you, you can go with the letter mm. and then many times 15 kilo overweight already. Mm, 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 mm. Very hard to fight back. You see her fight, your heart also pain. Yeah. Or yourself fight. You also feel like 15 kilo overweight, you, you want to bother me. Yeah. So the best time to remind someone is when they gain one kilo, but mm. is that too much? Mm. Is that when saying, hey, I, they like are not giving you any pregnancy. Space. Eh. This yeah. is after pregnancy. Right. Even harder wow. to wait and say. Yeah. Never give leeway. Yeah. Because I really, when my dad, when I was younger, right, I was very, very obese. And my dad was like, you know, hey, go and lose some weight. I really took uh, offense to that. I really felt like, wow, this this person is being so mean to me. But now when I look <laughs> back at the photo, I'm like, wow, I would he tell that your guy. Life yeah, you yeah, die of yeah, disease yeah, at 17. Yeah, yeah no, like I, I get it. So that's why I, I it's, it's tough to straddle. It's yeah. tough to straddle. Like, to be honest, it, it, it surprised me that you would be obese growing up because you joined a talent competition so young in your life. Oh, no, when I- That, that has a level of confidence and- Primary school, primary own. school. Yeah, primary school and secondary school. So I only lost my weight when I was 17. But before that, oh. I was obese. Oh, was I it like gained pu- my weight at 17. <laughs> <laughs> was your weight loss a puberty thing or like you like... Oh, oh I went to run long. Just went to run. Mine was went a to puberty like, thing. Yeah. Were you made fun of though and then that, that caused you to mm. want to lose weight or... No, okay. So so I had the other thing going for me which was I was the entertainer. I've been an entertainer since I, I guess in primary school. like, And so people would just be like, oh, he's quite funny. So it override the, oh my gosh, he's so fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you're fat, you're very funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can I've make heard a lot of people say that. Yeah. yeah. And it really, I guess, makes sense. Yeah. Also sad. Wait, also so trauma. Mm. In that yeah. sense, then do pretty people have less social mm. skills? Or like have less? Like because I do think so. Because of pretty privilege, right? They've not had to... They can get away without having... Enough personality for a while la, for yeah. a while la. Yeah. yeah I mean it depends what they what's the cascading decisions that come afterward right do yeah. you ride on this privilege and cruise mm. or do you use this privilege to get access to improve mm. Mm. like Miss Universe, to be honest yeah. I really look up to to, to Jade and for, for reasons I mentioned mm. a lot like she, she young she want to do plastic surgery she did have f- what 19 then mm. she chill what she milked her entire 20s Mm. And she used the access to gain more insights, more intelligence, to get more connected. Mm. Well, I feel like 
wow, I, I can totally get behind that. Mm-hmm. Many people tell themselves, True. okay, you can do plastic surgery, but maybe when you're more sure of yourself, maybe when you have your own job, maybe when you're 28, you're financially stable, then you decide you want to change your look because you might love yourself. Mm. Sure. Then at 30, 30 years old, you finally like the way you look. Huh? I really struggle with this whole love yourself narrative, right? Because now it's like more and more people are saying like, hey, if this person's getting fatter, you say something about it, you are fat shaming. Right? Mm. There's this whole like, mo- it's kind yeah. of like toxic positivity in a sense that like, mm. no matter what you become, right? Even if it's like somewhat unhealthy, yeah. if you're comfortable with who you are, if you are whatever, right? Then you should be okay with it. Like, that you don't need to have to do something about it. And then like, because personally also, I mean, I'm fat. I, don't, I perceive myself no as- No la. I perceive Please. myself as fat. And then, so because of that, right? No, see, then people will always say this. Yeah, no, right, I'm, I'm kidding, yeah. <laughs> Even like DNA mm. and all that, then I wonder whether like is that actually helpful for me or not? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So mm. if like you if you know someone who is like overweight, you're trying to get them to be on, on mm. a little like more healthier path, mm. but then it's yeah. now suddenly taboo to even point it out. Yeah. How do you even navigate? I think there are two factors. So one is that there are definitely a group of people who are just larger, heavy set people. Mm. It's natural. Diplomatic. And I think there are brands and like, like we talk about like clothing, for example, right? There mm. are brands that cater to this group. Yes. I think that kind of inclusi- inclusivity is inclusive inclusivity is fantastic. Which is driven by capitalism actually. Yeah, but okay. Market get Sure, mean? sure. Mm. But but then you have like because like when I went to Fiji last time also, right? Oh damn. The, wow. the, the people, the women there, right? Are huge, eh. but you for can say me, that as a little Asian community. boy. But it's it's the norm, <laughs> and it's huh? What? I think <laughs> yeah, I keep missing the joke. Hey, dude. What? What? Did I say something wrong again? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, but but big is beautiful in different places, perceived differently. Yeah. They are. That's such a tagline. Big is beautiful. Mm. Is Shit, I found for another marketing. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I think that's fine, right? But mm. then you have those that are, like, maybe the American population. <laughs> who just overfeed themselves and apparently more people die in in, in America apparently more people die from obesity than from starvation yeah, of why are you laughing Ooh. what you're saying <laughs> because trauma. it's a stupid trauma f-ing problem man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. come okay. on la. <laughs> <laughs> like they're eating themselves to death eh. mm. like, that is a problem that they can f-ing fix but it's yeah. natural selection no? so maybe like uh, and, yeah, this it. whole thing is a bit subjective right so maybe what will help is to the health checkup law, then the doctor can say factually because these are the yeah. digits your cholesterol damn high then you don't have to be the person so maybe you could say to your uh, spouse like hey let's go for medical checkup <laughs> <laughs> then factually let's see la, because cannot dispute yeah. you're not trying to find cancer <laughs> you're just finding a $600 way to tell her she's fat <laughs> <laughs> you give the doctor 20 bucks <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny that you asked um, Aiken like whether he gets bullied when when he was in school because I feel like when I was in school, right, the cycle was that wow, the thunder. Mm. Yes, yeah. God is speaking. Ah, huh? you yeah. can fool your next question. Like, okay. I feel like when I was in, so I was always a skinny kid, not to rub it in. Mm. Um, oh, annoying. <laughs> but I feel like I avoided a lot of the bullying because the targets were the the bigger size kids, right? Mm. But it, there was a point where I think we were like I hit 15, 16, 17 where suddenly the bigger size kids were working out and suddenly now yeah. they were the jacked ones. Mm. Cause like they always say like, turn your fats into muscles, right? It's easier to convert. Yeah. And then I was trying to work out and I couldn't do it. Mm. And then suddenly like, I felt that now I was insecure about my body, even yeah. though I was so confident. Yeah, no, that, that was a great phase, the turning point in society cause I was the fat kid. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I never yeah. actually lost weight. Oh, the, the fact it it just became. I just grew taller, oh. and then my body just got stretched out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I, I just somewhat look like I have meat in the right places. Exactly. Oh. I was very lucky. Like last time, you know, you sit down, you got a fat fold. Yeah. In secondary school, right? The, then you stand up, the fat fold still got line. Yeah. Mine look like a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> but so completely soft like one. You can times. press in five centimeters inside. <laughs> but wow. stand up, six pack. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hey, that's a good uh, deduction. That means four, three times <laughs> to look like, to look like yeah. six back. Yeah, <laughs> two times. Two times. Or you can have eight back. Like the Tosa, Tosa bread at the big <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the point I was trying to make is that I feel, yeah. I feel like everyone's going to be insecure about something or they're always trying to be pursued to be something else that they're not, right? Like, or, or more. Like, if you're already working out, you want to work mm. out even more and check out, like, check out. Check off. No, not check off. What are you talking about? Work out. You want to work yeah. out even harder. Yeah. Get jacked. Get jacked. Oh. Get jacked even harder. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, speaking about body image just now, right? And like about, like, especially from younger, right? Like I also didn't fat last time when I was young. Like 80 kg when I was primary six or some shit. Ridiculous, Ooh. yeah. Mm. So, then, right? In primary school? Like, primary six, ah. Uh? 80 kg at primary six. Ah, That's man. That's no joke. Possible. My father called me dumplings, yeah. <laughs> then so that was kind. <laughs> trying to save your life, dude. <laughs> this explains a no, lot. So then, because of, because I was fat, right? Then I got like moops 
Yeah. Yeah. Then the mumbage make me hunch to hide it. Oh, so yikes. I wear like baggy clothes. Then I hunch to hide it. Then until wow. today, right, I still like hunch a bit, right? Oh. But the good thing is that because of technology and the use of mobile phones, everybody has this new problem. Yeah. yeah. They are spying <laughs> oh, the so now you just look like you. Uh, I, just like <laughs> I just use my phone a lot. I wanted to ask though, do you think, I mean, back to being the, the, the comments, I was just thinking about this. Do you think that if everybody was made to put their name and NIRC number tagged to their social media account, wow. there'd be a lot more... A lot uh, less users on social media. Yes, but also a lot more sort of like, a lot less of these instances happening because you are really, you could be held accountable for what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. So we were playing around with the idea and then uh, some of the research that came out right, was that they tested the same topics mm. um, and the conversations that would, would, would come up on different platforms. So some are more anonymous, some are less anonymous. Okay. The ones that are more anonymous are more toxic. Yeah. The ones that are less like Facebook, that kind are yeah. more positive. Yeah. So that's great. But then the other issue is that I think anonymity also has its perks on the internet sometimes for like- um, Like if you want to expose a whistleblowing, whistleblowing yeah. or whatever, mm. right? Yeah. yeah. So the, the conclusion that we came up to right, is that uh, there just needs to be some a parts of the internet, yeah. most of the internet should be like what you said, we should tag our name and everything. We cannot be anonymous. Mm. Doxed. Yeah. The rest of it, there, there are some corners that are special mm. platforms just for those purposes. Mm, mm, mm. That one can be anonymous. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. the root causes of hate comments for the most part is that we are we are dehumanizing. Yeah. We are desensitized. Yeah. And we are also detached. Mm. Yeah. Well, you plan this. Yes, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. This <laughs> is such a Singapore government thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can pitch for the next campaign. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that makes sense also, I think. Yeah. And it should happen. La. Then all these people accountable. Yeah, it has to be law. But yeah. actually, no private yeah. company will do it. Yeah. That's why. They don't will really lose users. Yeah, but don't you think that like with that, right, there's just going to be other crimes that come up. For example, like identity theft or this kind of other stuff that come with having to put your name out there. It's and true. Trying not to. Yeah. Another layer of uh, assumed trust will exist on the internet that makes right. scams a lot more susceptible. Right. No, that's why like blockchain. <laughs> there's, there's, there are a lot of scams on blockchain now. But blockchain technology can help to facilitate for this. It's like how our oh, health systems are using blockchain technology, right? To keep track of documentation and all that kind of stuff. Oh, like our sync pass all that. Yeah, yeah. So why not? Solutions, guys. Shut up, yeah. This guy is <laughs> using one password to understand the tech. He's <laughs> like, yeah. you go figure it out. I'll tell you the passwords. <laughs> hey, but okay, listen. Car, fly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everybody, thanks for watching and thanks again, Aiken, for joining hey. us for another episode. Thanks for having me. If you have comments about boobies or life, leave them down below. Hmm, maybe that's not the best problem. That's but, weird. But you can let me know what you want to comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.